Hello Capricorn, how you doing? I hope you're very well. My name is Diane and this is Madam Butterfly Tarot. And we're gonna do a love reading for August, but you know, timeless reading, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> um, you're very welcome here Capricorn. Thank you so much for checking out the reading. I hope it resonates and I hope you enjoy it. And you know, if it does and you feel like liking and subscribing for me, I'd appreciate it so much. Um, and I just want to start off with, I'm going to shuffle this deck too, we're going to pull some cards from this deck. And also I just, you know, sorry for my uh, absence the last couple of, I don't know how long it's been, a couple of weeks, the last week, I just needed a break, you know. Um, you know how it goes, Cap. Do one more. Okay, so let's find out who's coming towards you, Cat. Oh, that came out fast. Reconciliation. Listen, this has been coming out so much. <laughs> like, I swear, this whole, like, basically every sign, I think, apart from Virgo and Libra, um, seem to have someone coming back from the past. So, it doesn't have to be a past energy, but, you know, it could be someone new that you met that maybe you're in separation with, but it's obviously someone you know. Because you have reconciliation here. Let's see what else comes out. Just gonna turn that down a little bit. What's this one? You have union and you have happiness. Okay, so this is looking good. I don't know who this is. We'll find out though. You have reconciliation, you have happiness, and you have union. So this is looking good, Capricorn, like someone you already know. Be it a past energy or be it a newer energy, it looks like there's going to be some union here that's going to make you happy. Let's see who this is. Um, who is this person coming towards Capricorn? Knight of Pentacles. So this is someone very slow, okay? Um, it looks like they're coming in with a stable offer though. Knight of Pentacles is usually very stable. It could be an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn. Oh my god, your cards are flying out. What was that? Page of Cups. Yeah, there's definitely an offer coming in here, Capricorn. Um, it could be Pisces as well. It could be like Earth energy with some Pisces in their chart. But sometimes the Page of Cups also means an apology. I don't know. But um, yeah, might be a little unexpected. Sometimes the Page of Cups can be a little unexpected. You have the Six of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So it looks like soulmate energy. Whoa. <laughs> King of Wands, um, so it could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, pretty good looking usually, probably very charismatic, it's definitely someone that's been keeping an eye on you. Kind of looks like they've been waiting for the right time to come back in, or to come in, you know, because it could be someone, yeah, this guy wants to come out as well, this Page of Pentacles, you definitely get a message or an offer here. What was I going to say? Yeah, it doesn't have to be past energy, but maybe you met someone and then you guys had to separate for a while for some reason, you know, um, but there's like a reconciliation. Let's see. You have the Six of Swords. Whatever this is, um, <clears throat> there's definitely an offer. Um, and it, it, whatever the offer is, like this person wants it to lead to this Six of Swords. You know, they want it to lead to like harmony, you know, because the, the previous card is the Five of Swords. So maybe there's been some something that's kind of gotten in the way here. Maybe you guys were fighting or something else got in the way. Um, but they just, they kind of just want to sail away with you, like off into the sunset here. You have the Empress and the Justice card have just flashed up, so this could be a Libra also. Okay, what else about this person coming towards Capricorn? The Sun. <laughs> yeah, you have the Sun next to the Happiness card. So I don't know, it looks like whatever they have to say is going to make you happy. Let's just quit. Okay. They have been working on this offer for a really long time because they've been hella slow. Could be a Virgo, you know, the, the Knight of Pentacles with the Eight of Pentacles. Doesn't have to be, but it could be a Virgo. It's like, it's kind of Virgo energy, like they've taken the time, like they've 
you know, worked on what they're going to say, they've kind of planned it out. Could be someone you met at work as well with the Eight of Pentacles or in an evening class. Um, I wonder if you're dealing with someone that was in a commitment here. Let's see. You have the Hierophant and the Eight of Swords have just come out together. You could be dealing with someone that was in a marriage or a long-term commitment or a Taurus. Um, that, but it kind of looks like maybe they were in a marriage or a commitment or something that was keeping them stuck. Let me just see where this is going, okay? Jeez. You have the Page of Cups with the... I don't know if that wanted to come out with the Page of Cups. I'm going to leave it there. There's some kind of new beginning. This death card, like an ending and a new beginning, some kind of transformation. What's this page of cups here, please? The judgment. Someone's wanting to, a, a new beginning. Someone's going to reach out and they want a new beginning here with you. What's this king of wands, please? Oh, they're coming in very fast. This is someone who's been waiting for the right time. They've been holding back and waiting for the right... I think you're dealing with someone that's in a third party. I ha I'm sorry, I have to say it. And I know like um, this has been coming up a lot in your readings. But it's obviously what needs to come out here because you have this King of Wands, the Knight of Swords, the Three of Cups, and this Ten of Wands. Um, this is someone who's holding back. And it kind of looks like they're in a third party that's kind of a, a, a drain on them. But it looks like they're going to come in very fast because... <laughs> See, the Knight of Swords is all about, it's all about putting emotions aside, right? It can be someone who's kind of acting a little reckless, right? Um, you know, it's like, I don't care what happens anymore. Like, you know, I have, I have this heavy burden of this third party, but I don't care anymore. I'm just going to go for it. I have to say it. That's what the Knight of Swords energy is. That's why they often say it can be kind of fast because it's someone who's just, just going for it. You know, it's it's literally like screw it. I can't I can't hold this in anymore. I have to say it. Um, what's this page of pentacles, please? You have the ten of swords here. What's the six of swords? They want this new beginning with you. They want this breakthrough. And what is the sun? Yeah, this is something that's going to happen very quickly. It's going to change things, I think. The sun, the tower, the nine of wands. They're going to tell you something that's going to change everything. Because I feel like maybe there's, I don't know, like a bit of distrust or something with this person. What are we going to clarify here? Um, what is this Ten of Swords? I kind of feel like I dropped in. What is this Ten of Swords? Because they're going to come in and tell you something, I think. What is this Ten of Swords? Something about waiting because you have this temperance in the Wheel of Fortune. There's something about timing and patience and waiting. They're going to come in and tell you that. Give me a bit more. What is this Ten of Swords, please? The Moon. I'm going to go into another deck here. Yeah, there's something unseen. Something you didn't know or they think that you don't know. 
that they're gonna tell you. What's this Ten of Swords, please? What's this Ten of Swords, please? Yeah, you've been waiting for a long time. Page of Swords, it's, it's delayed. Whatever this person is coming in to tell you, it's delayed news. Like it's something you've been waiting on for a long time. What is it though? What's the Ten of Swords? An ending, oh my god. You have the Death card, the Chariot, and the Knight of Cups. I think this person is going to come in and tell you. I, I have to be honest here, I think you're dealing with someone who's in a, a marriage or a long-term commitment and I feel like the, whatever it is is a very heavy burden to them for some reason, obviously because they're in love with you, you have the two of, oh my god, look, two of cups and the lovers right underneath each other at the bottom of the deck. This is a soulmate, this is someone that you're supposed to be with. And I know there's going to be like, I always get this kind of shit in the comments where people are like, you shouldn't be trying to break up a couple. But the thing is, I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm just telling you what's going on here. And often people marry the wrong person, right? People make mistakes. Um, but I feel like this person has a soulmate. You have the two of cups and the lovers. I feel like it's a soulmate. Now, this might be a reading that is happening now. It might be something that happens in six months. It might happen in a week. I don't know. But I feel like they're they're trying to tell you like look there's there's hope here like if you want if you're involved in a third party situation, you know this person thinks about you a lot with the King of Wands here, and I think it's gonna happen some something is gonna happen very suddenly, and I it looks like they're gonna come in and tell you with this page of Pentacles. It looks like they're gonna come in and tell you that they they want to end it or they have ended it, and I feel like for some of you. This person maybe thinks that you don't know they're in a third party. Obviously, you do now. <laughs> um, but, or you already know. Like, if this reading is resonating with you, then you already know, you know. Because if this is a new revelation to you, it's probably not your reading, right? Um, but I think they're going to come in and tell you here, you know, with the death card. You have the death card twice, and you have this chariot. See, they're going to make a choice, and they're going to come in and offer you love. You know, because I, I think you guys are soulmates. I think you're supposed to be together. And I see this poking out here, this five of pentacles and you have the five of cups here. I think there's a lot of sadness that you're both apart. I don't know if you guys maybe have some Virgo. You might be dealing with a Virgo or you might be dealing with a Libra because they had a similar kind of reading. Um, Four of swords, you're definitely in separation with this person. Whew, it's a heavy reading guys, but listen, um, it seems like a message from spirit, like they're very slow, whoever this person is is like glacier slow, um, but they're going to make this decision to kind of reach out here, there's going to there's be a reconciliation. And I feel like they're going to tell you like, look, I'm sorry that I didn't tell you before, I'm sorry I didn't tell you I was engaged or married or in this connection before but you should know that this person is so sad I feel like you're both so sad to be apart from each other like you're just so sad because you're meant to be together I'm sorry but you are the lovers in the two of cups here it's a soulmate connection you obviously had stuff to learn though while you were apart um but they just kind of want to sail off into the sunset with you here what's this nine of wands energy Ace of Swords and the Six of Swords as well. I really feel very strongly that, that I don't know how exactly it's going to go down, like, but you're going to get a message that, 
like they're either going to tell you they've left them or they're going to tell you that they want to leave them or something like that. What's this? Um, it's going to be very fast. Again, I think Spirit's maybe trying to prepare you a little bit here, Capricorn, because it's the Knight of Swords again, which is, it's, it's like a spur of the moment decision. You know, they often associate it with Gemini energy, you know, kind of reckless. <laughs> um, and I'm a Gemini myself, so if there's any Gemini crosswatches, I'm not slagging you off, okay? But we are a little reckless, okay? Um, you know, it's that type of just, you know, screw it, I'm just going to do it. And it's because they just, they miss you. They miss you so much, Capricorn, because you're soulmates. Um, what is this Nine of Wands energy, please? It's almost like there's like happiness almost overnight. You know, with the tower and the sun, it's just something changes overnight. Literally, it's like it, it just, everything changes overnight. Cause you might be sitting there at the moment being like, oh my God, this will never happen. Like if somebody wanted to leave their wife or their husband or break off an engagement, that would take so long, blah, blah, blah. No, it doesn't actually, you know, once you've decided that's it, right? Clarify this Nine of Wands. Okay. So you have the Ace of Cups, the Page of Pentacles. What have we got here? Yeah, it's just going to be a bit like a whirlwind. Okay, um, Seven of Cups here. When they first approach you, you might you might be a little suspicious of them or something because they, I don't know, like they might come in kind of full pelt or something. I think they're maybe a little suspicious of you or you're a little, su maybe you're both a little suspicious of each other. I'm not sure. Who's this Nine of Swords, please? Uh, the Wands. Who's the Nine of Wands? Oh, it's because, see, look, same cards, the Three of Cups and the Ten of Wands. They're in a third party that's a very heavy energy that they're about to put down, okay? This person is a bit of a wounded warrior. This Nine of Wands is them, okay? The reason they've taken such a long time to make this decision, Capricorn, I feel you've waited a long, long time. I feel this person is really, really slow. Um, they're a little... I'm trying to find a different word for broken <laughs> um, because they're not broken. It's, you know, it's just they're, they're this nine of wands. You have the nine of wands here twice. OK, this is someone that's been through a lot. They've been through a lot. OK, they're not broken, but y y they've been through a lot. They're a bit of a wounded warrior. OK, so they've been a little hesitant to kind of rush in here. And you may find that even when you guys first sort of get together, they're a little, uh, I don't know, um, they hold back almost like maybe they're a little afraid of you or something. But I think that's because of where they've been. I don't think they've been in a very fun place, okay? This is definitely soulmate energy, the Six of Cups at the bottom of the deck here. Um, so this is new, this is a new, you know, this is like a new situation here unfolding. Um, page of uh, Pentacles here, you know, I feel like this person is, they might be a little younger than you as well, Capricorn. You could very well have met this person at your job. They might be kind of shy, this person, and I don't know if it's like a natural shyness or because they've been in a place that was very unhealthy. Um, yeah, I think that like when you first, like they might, I'm sorry, I'm stumbling over my words a little bit today. I'm wondering if it's because of them. <clears throat> like, you know, they might hold back with you a little bit conversationally or like it might appear, you know, it might appear like they don't trust you, right? They do trust you. I just, I think they've been in a, a bad place. So there may be someone that's used to being insulted or someone putting them down or telling them they're wrong or something like this, right? It might take them a little bit of time to get used to it, to get used to being loved, basically. The Eight of Wands here is going to happen very fast. I kind of feel like this... Um, 
this it's gonna be like a wish fulfillment that just kind of comes out of nowhere for you I want to get some I can't pick anything off the table hold on a second there we go right I want to get some star signs to start so what sign could this person be they could be Aquarius coming in what sign could this person be they could be a Taurus what sign could this person be for Capricorn? They could be a Pisces. And um, you also have Virgo at the bottom of the deck there, so they could be Virgo as well, or they could have all that stuff in their chart somewhere. You know, because you might think this person is like, I don't know, like an Aries or something, right? You might only have their birthday and you're like, oh, well, they're in Aries then. But actually, a lot of people tend to identify more with like a rising sign. And also, it's a love reading. So, you know, this might be their Venus sign that's coming through, right? Um, what would this person like to say to Capricorn? I feel like I'm just dropping these. Hold on a second. See, they seem nervous. To me, I think they're very nervous about approaching you. What would this person like to say to Capricorn? I need to feel like I'm your first priority. Now, actually, that is the two of pentacles, okay? So... I think you're dealing with someone that's making a decision between two people here, all right? But also, I think this person, because it's come out over the Knight of Pentacles, I think they've been trying to figure out if you're single. I think they don't know if you're single. And it's like once they figure it out, once they find out you're single somehow, they're going to come in with the offer. Because so I think they don't want to make a fool of themselves, you know? I'm complete when I'm with you. You make me feel at home. So that's the world. They think the world of you. I also want to say this person is kind of ending something. They're ending some kind of cycle before they can be with you. It's obviously some kind of relationship or something. Marriage. But they feel at home with you. Three of Cups, so there's definitely third party energy here, okay? Um, but also being with you is like a party, it's always fun. So I feel like where they are is really not fun. Really, really not fun. Um, but you're so much fun, you know, they think like they just have a lot of fun with you, they feel at home with you, like you make them happy. What else does this person say to Capricorn? The magician with you, I feel I have everything I need. So this is someone as well who's, they're trying to, they've been trying to get to a point to do what they need to do. Like to, I don't know, call you or end this relationship they're in. Because I don't know what they're going to do first. Okay, it's not clear. But they feel like you, you have everything they need, basically. Uh, you have, ooh, baby. It turns me on when you take control, the king of wands. So they're definitely, uh, they could definitely have some fire in their chart as well. This is someone who's about to take control of the situation. And I know I keep saying it, but it's going to happen very fast. They've been waiting for the right time or they've been holding back. And it's just, it's almost like it just gets to a point where they're like, I can't do this anymore. And they, they text you or they call you or they end their relationship or something. I don't know. It's going to be one of those things. Let's get one more. What would this person like to say to Capricorn? Sorry, cat, my camera cut out. What would this person like to say to Capricorn? Being with you makes me feel like a kid again, the Page of Cups. So they could definitely have some Pisces energy in their chart. Um, they feel just like you're very fun. I really feel like where they are, where they have been is not fun. It's very heavy. The same messages keep coming out. You know, you have the Three of Cups and the Ten of Wands. You have the Three of Cups and the Ten of Wands. You know, 
wherever they are is not fun. You have the nine of wands twice. They've been through something. Um, I will take you places you've never been before, the knight of wands. And let's get some characteristics about this person. Just gonna give them a quick shuffle first. It's like strong, strong soulmate vibes. You know, you may when you met this person, there may have been like an instant recognition with them. Because I have found that that is what happens in soulmate connections. You know, it's like you're kind of you're you're kind of looking at them like, do I know you? <laughs> do we go to school together? Because it. You, your soul remembers them. So your brain is trying to go, where do I know you from? You know what I mean? But it's your soul that's recognized them. Um, yeah. You have a golden retriever, reliable. This could also be the kind of dog they have as well. So they're, yeah, knight of pentacles with the eight of pentacles. They're a very stable energy, very reliable, very slow. <laughs> they're a very hard worker. Um, this is a sweetheart. They might have like big brown eyes or they might have big soulful eyes. Cocker Spaniel, companion. See the eyes on this dog? They always get me. So this, per this person's a sweetheart, um, especially coming out with this page of cups here. I feel like you might be dealing with someone who kind of, I don't know, they might come across as very kind of buttoned down and like, you know, st oh, thanks camera. That focus, there we go. They might come across as like very buttoned down and like, you know, hard working and like serious, but they have this kind of squishy, playful, childlike side that they're so happy that they can be like that with someone because I think they don't get to be like that with anyone else, but they get to be like that with you because they feel safe with you because you're a soulmate and you probably feel like that with them too. Um, this is someone who's looking for like a lifelong companion. They're looking for a friend. You know, this is someone who, you know, they're, they're, they're a sweetheart and they're looking for someone who's also going to be a sweetheart. Yeah, you might find there's something about this person's eyes, like very soulful puppy dog eyes. Um, you have staffy, boisterous. See, I don't think it's the word boisterous. It's something about this, something about the eyes with this dog. They're very attentive. If I can get the card to focus, because I want to show you this dog. There we go. You see how the dog is like, he's really paying attention to something. I feel like they, they pay a lot of attention to details, this person, whoever they are. I don't feel like they are that boisterous. Um, what else about this person coming towards Capricorn? Oh, you know, I've put this boisterous card down over these Knight of Swords as well. So like what they're about to do, I think is very different for them. I think whatever this is they're about to do is really something that they don't usually do. You know, it's for them, it's quite adventurous. They're about to make a bold move. Who's this person coming towards Capricorn? Oh, look at that. They have Corgi. There we go. Nope. God damn it. There we go. They have Corgi, so it's excitable. So I feel like they're very excited by this connection with you. They're very excited about this prospect of being with you. Um, they're, they're really sweet. They might be kind of like a big person. I don't know. Like I don't know if you're dealing with a man, they might be very physically big or something. They have a lovely face. This person has a lovely face and I would say they have lovely eyes. They're a sweetheart. That's just what keeps coming through. Um, and you know, if you're dealing with someone that's not a sweetheart, this is probably not your reading <laughs> because it's, there's some kind of reconciliation coming in here that's, there's union that's going to lead to happiness. You know, you have the sun here as well. 
Okay, what else about this person coming towards? Uh, I'm just laughing because there's such a cute energy. Bold, you have Shih Tzu. So they're gonna do something very bold. They are gonna do something really bold because I've put this over the tower. They're being brave. And let's get one more. Anything else about this person for Capricorn? Faithful, chow chow. Um, I'm not sure if that's how you say this dog's name, but um, hopefully I haven't butchered it too much. Yeah, see they're very attentive. There might be something about this person's eyes. They might stare at you. The there may have been something like that when you first met this person, you might have noticed them kind of staring at you a lot. They're quite a serious energy, but I feel like when they're with you, they lighten up a lot. Because you make them happy, you make them happy. They're very serious, it's a very serious energy, but they're very faithful and I think they want you to know that as well, you know, because I, they might not have told you about this other they they might not they might not have told you that they're in a relationship and they're probably kind of embarrassed because I think they're they're a very lovely person and they've just they're just in that bad relationship basically which you know happens to us all it's just that some people marry them right um remember like she says in friends you didn't marry your Barry but I married mine right so don't judge people when you don't know the situation, right? And you have, you know, I, I think it's someone very faithful and they want you to know, like, I'm not like a philanderer. You know, I don't just cheat on people, like, I'm very faithful, but, you know, they just fell in love. You have the Ace of Cups here. They just fell in love. They just fell in love with you, Capricorn. So, and you know, I feel like you fell very strongly in love together. May also, it may even have been almost like a love at first sight kind of thing or a love at first conversation because it's such a strong soulmate connection and I just feel like you guys are really sad just being apart from each other. Like there's, it's quite a heavy reading but um, you know, you, you will get communication from this person. I don't know when, like I said, it's tarot. So there's no point leaving messages that are like, you always say it's going to be fast and then nothing happens. Yeah, because it's the same relationship. It's the same connection. You know, it it's, it's going to happen when it happens. Like, you know, leaving me bitchy comments is not going to change the rapidity with which it happens. Um, you know, <laughs> I, it's tarot. So it might, like I said, it might happen in a day, it might happen in a week, it might happen in six months. It depends on a multiple, you know, scenarios. But... Spirit is telling you, like, if you want to wait for this person to get out of their connection, you know, that it will happen. It's just a kind of a question of patience, really. And, you know, they are very in love with you and you are soulmates. You are meant to be together. And this person is very sad without you. Okay. So I hope this was helpful, Capricorn. Um, many thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you feel like doing that. I'd appreciate it a lot. And many blessings to you, Capricorn. Love and light.